I'm Sarah Childress, a reporter for Frontline, and today I'm answering your questions about police reform. Marsha Iverson writes, how can reform succeed when investigations find no fault in so many killings of unarmed suspects? So this is a good question because it's something people confuse a lot. Individual officers can be investigated for allegations of misconduct, but when you talk about reform, that's a different kind of investigation. In these cases, the Justice Department is looking at whole departments for a pattern or practice of civil rights violations, often excessive force, but also discriminatory policing, or how police treat people who suffer from mental illness. And what they're hoping to do is create systemic change. So in other words, they're not trying to punish an individual officer, but overhaul a department so that those incidents don't happen again. Now that takes time, usually years and a lot of money, at least $600 million nationwide over the past two decades. It also takes commitment from police and city officials at a local level. But when all those factors combine, there is an opportunity for lasting change. Although, as our recent investigation with the Washington Post found, even some of those cases can produce mixed results. For more on police reform, follow our ongoing investigation at pbs.org frontline.